Welcome to another episode of the Headlight Restoration Pro, where I'll be showing you how to take headlights like those and turn them into something like this. This is number one of a two-part series. Number two is also streaming right now. Stay tuned. The Headlight Restoration Pro. Let's get down to business. This is a 2008 Honda Element. And uh, this is, uh, I'm gonna show you a little something here, how it has this um, maybe a half an inch or quarter inch uh, gap between, which is really good because some, uh, this guy has some kind of uh, sealant or um, protectant on this plastic where it does not stick. Uh, you run into this sometimes, generally on paint when people wax their vehicles or the ceramic coat their vehicles and stuff like that um what i uh gonna do here is attempt to do this thing bareback okay so you gotta be really gentle you gotta really have a steady confident hand and know what you're doing um you don't want to attempt this at home i don't advise you to attempt this at home with a normal vehicle or even one of these vehicles i'm uh extremely skilled and i um you know um, and just gonna go for it okay and then I'm gonna uh, try to make a cast or tape off at the end so I can spray it and that's it but if I try to do it now it's just gonna come off because there's too much uh, work to be done with the uh, power tools and stuff it's just gonna grab it and throw it off if I try to do it now uh, but this is uh, once again it's a 2008 Honda Element um, it's a very common car that needs a headlight restoration, very broad, flat lights. Um, but uh, let me give you a background of this day here. Uh, it was a very busy day, had uh, a lot of vehicles to take care of, um, and uh, it, it kind of grew with the day, meaning that um, I had a couple appointments, uh, sparing here and there, and then I had people calling in the morning, wanted their stuff done, so I made more appointments or whatnot. Um, but hold on pause that check this uh, card out here pro tip you can always use a card like this you can you know you in those sensitive areas even if you're taping and uh, you know you can drag along with it to hit those outside edges of course you don't have to worry about the inside areas here or here uh, but you have to worry about the you know the edges where it butts up against the plastic or the vehicles uh, you know painted clear coat which you don't want to mess up so on the inside you don't really have to worry about it but anyways um, so one of my first appointments of the day was a Honda Element, okay? You get one of those every other month or whatever. And um, it was such a rare thing that uh, during the first vehicle, which this one was the second vehicle out of three, uh, just like the title suggests, uh, this is a part one of a two-part series. Part two is going to be a different pilot, which is going to be the third one that I did that day. Okay, but during the first one, I got an appointment for, excuse me, Element, Honda Element. I got an appointment for uh, two more, and just turns out it's such a rare thing where I, I pretty much felt like I had to uh, make a video about these or videos about these is because they were all uh, similar years, you know, within a uh, you know, four-year uh, or so uh, time period, same vehicle, and the same exact color, you know, uh, burnt orange. And they all had messed up headlights, pretty messed up headlights. Uh, I think the second one might even be worse than this, uh, cosmetically, but these ones were uh, not functioning correctly due to the hazy whiteness. But, uh, so, make sure you stay tuned, uh, you know, and watch that video, it should be up now. Um, it's that uh, part two of this Honda Element uh, day, you know, I pretty much did three of them in one day, uh, which is uh, cool with me because this is a uh, pretty easy headlight to do. Normally, uh, you can tape it off. It's not normal that the paint, you know, the, the um, you know, outside edges of light don't stick with the paint. It's, it's not normal. It happens every blue moon and normally I have stuff to take care of it but I had just finished the process of moving and you know everything is in shambles. My office is in shambles. My um, you know my um, you know supply room is in shambles all that stuff so I have to wait till I get that done. Uh, right now I'm just rolling with two bags in the trunk ready to rock and you know rock and roll get it done. But um 
Yeah, so uh, uh, normally what you could also do is you can strip around the area of the vehicle. Uh, they sell strippers or whatnot, uh, you know, like paint strippers, which is not as aggressive as it sounds. Uh, you know, the isopropyl alcohol, things like that will work. Um, but they sell these um, that are already done for like when you're waxing a vehicle or you're washing a vehicle and you want to strip all the stuff off because the wax or the um, clear coat has build up or even the ceramic is gone bad and needs to be removed uh, before you start fresh with a new coat of wax or ceramic or whatever okay they sell these things and old school hack and a um an easy way if you don't want to go spend all that money to uh, get them is um a little bit of um uh, Dawn soap mixed in a spray bottle and you can spray around that light will strip all that off You know give it a little agitation, you know, maybe with a microfiber towel around the area of the light uh, And you should be ready to go But I, uh, Once again, I don't have any of that stuff on me. So I'm just uh, doing something. I do not advise to do I am a professional I um, know how to control this uh, drill. I know how to do things that a normal person might not know how to do. And this is uh, you know, a little bit dangerous. You can mess up somebody's stuff. And uh, even if I did mess up some, you know, the outside of this, I know how to fix it. That's one of the services I provide, scratch removal and things like that. So it's not a big deal for me. But if you don't know how to do that, you can see the uh, issue there. Um, but anyhow... This light is a pleasure to work with. Um, it is a medium level light, a medium size light. Um, it, um, even though they're bad or whatever, it is a small enough light and it is very flat so you can move pretty fast you can move things fast you can go as fast as you can because you don't have to really slow down too much for um, different areas or whatnot which is why uh, this video if you haven't noticed is co uh, considerably shorter than other videos um, uh, these lights are pretty easy to do and it's a pretty uh, miraculous transformation uh, of these headlights Honda headlights are pretty uh, pretty universal. Um, they are a mix of, um, you know, right in the middle. They're medium, hard, medium, soft. They're right in the middle. They're not too soft. They're not too hard. Um, they're very easy to work with. Like, uh, per se, Lexus and Toyota lights, you know, they might be a touch too soft. Uh, to be a great formula when lights are soft um, you know they are easy to work with they're easy to restore um, uh, you know they're in functionality of driving and stuff ricocheting off of there they don't get beat up or whatever uh, the thing is they just don't last as long far as a headlight restoration or far as whatever you know you're surfacing them with or spraying on them or coating on them the headlight restoration or the actual life of the headlight is not going to last as long with those because they're softer with the harder lights like the uh, mercedes benz the bmws the european cars or even the kias um they are going to be super super hard it's going to be harder for them to go bad but the thing is when they do go bad they go really bad because they're so hard they're too hard almost okay and they have a lot of pock marks they have they, they develop a lot of spider cracking naturally and they design you know they um you know they get a lot of divots and pitting from uh, debris on the road really easy uh they're too much of a hard pitch okay um these vehicles here these high Hondas uh, are all I mean, pretty much most Hondas um, or whatever year whatever they have a good formula for um, longevity uh, it's right in the middle it's uh, you know not too hard not too soft so they're um, you know in, in effect that makes it really good to work with as well you know it's the same kind of parameter it's just right to work with and they generally um, what that equates to is generally they come out looking really really good okay with minimal effort Okay, um, especially uh, with my um, uh, method, you use my method on these lights, or you know, with any Honda, it's gonna come out really nice if you just follow instructions. I have a lot of people that are like, it didn't come out. You know, I get a lot of DMs. If you check on any of my videos, you see I get a lot of uh, feedback, a lot of DMs, a lot of messages in here, and I get a lot of people that are like. Oh man, I did it and it didn't work the same. I don't know what's going on. You know, this doesn't work or, you know, it's not working for me. And I know I've seen you do it so many times on your videos. 
And I'm like, okay, well, I mean, I do, I've do. i literally done over a thousand. I don't know if you've read the bio or not, but I've done well. I stopped counting how many headlights I've done at a thousand a long time ago. So it's probably, you know, you know, I don't think it's quite over 2000 yet, but I mean, it's, it's, you know, a thousand something and some change. I stopped counting a lot, well over a year ago. I've, um, a lot of headlights. Okay. And, um, I've done a lot of experiments, a lot of things like this, and I've done a lot of headlights with this exact method. Okay. This is the evolution of my methods, evolution of my experimentation with, uh, headlight restoration and stuff like that. Uh, or just headlights in general. And this is the epitome. This is the, the, you know, upper echelon of anything I've ever done with headlights this is this formula here and I do it all the time it's professional grade and it's um, you know marketable and it's what is sold it's what is uh, you know what people love okay uh, tried and true um, so I get these people that say that and then I'm like hey so okay what did you do and then I they explained to me I did this and I did that and I'm like wait hold up you know the first thing you said is wrong you know what do you mean you used the p you used the 500 instead of this so everything else you've done at that point behind that is wrong it's not a 500 it's a p500 you got to watch the videos you got to listen you got to see what i'm writing you know you got to see what i'm putting on there you got to you know listen to what i'm talking about and then they're like oh well you know i used the uh, um inspector gadget uh 500 disc you know uh, that I got 700 for you know dollar fifty, and it's like it's not going to do the same thing. You can't, you know. Do you ever see a basketball player? Uh, you know, there's an old school shoe called Pro Wings. You ever see a basketball player on today's court? You know, running up and down the court with some Pro Wings from 99 cent store. No, you can't. It's impossible. They would not be able to play correctly. Their knees and everything would be shot out. They use professional shoes, okay? If you want to be professional, you want to have professional grade headlight restoration, which is a very serious thing. This, uh, these things can save your life and, you know, they make your car look so good. Um, but anyhow, you know, and then, you know, I get to the next thing. It's like, okay, well, I, you know, I used the orbital sander and I used, you know, this and that. And it's just a bunch of weird stuff. It's like, you're not doing the method you know what i'm saying you there's some things you can tweak on or whatever but i advise everybody just to do the method use the supplies use to, i mean you know use the things there's little things like this you can have a variation of a drill and this and that but there still are parameters of that you can't have certain rpms you can't have certain torque you know what i'm saying there's just certain things that you have to follow and uh you get results like this i mean look at this it cannot get any better far as longevity, far as uh, clarity, far as headlight health, far as UV coatingness, just this, you know, far as levelness, shipper. far as durability, uh, you know, there's a lot of things. And then the number one people thing that people go back on, is this very 2K clear and it, it'll last longer? No, it won't. It'll destroy the headlight. Okay, by the time you have your third headlight restoration on this, you know, you'll be looking for your, you know, your second headlight restoration with the 2K clear. Okay, but what you'll be looking at is a messed up headlight with cracking and burns and all kind of messed up stuff. So stay tuned for part two of this. The Headlight Restoration.